Everyone, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we are taking a look at the iPhone 12 Pro in the Pacific Blue color. So you can see the box here. It's the thin new box that does not have the charger. You can see it right there. Very nice, very sleek looking. It's a black box, unlike the normal iPhone 12, which is a white box. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. There are blue accents all around the box. And then we open it up here and we are presented with the new Pacific blue color, which my goodness, does it look a lot nicer than I thought. A lot of the Apple promos if you see make it look a little bit darker, kind of almost like the midnight green. And straight off the bat, you can see that it's nothing like the midnight green. And I decided not to get this one this year. My brother ended up getting this one mainly because I thought it would look too much like the midnight green, but it actually looks quite incredible. I went with the graphite. Uh, do I regret it? Maybe. Yes, it is a very nice color. But let's go ahead here and, oh, we have a new paper here. I guess this is because it does have a new special display that's supposed to break less often and be more resistant. Right off the bat, it does look interesting. It does look a little bit different than what we've seen previously. And of course, you no longer get the supposedly satisfying sound when you remove this, but I guess this also helps you know, tell people not to keep those on their phones because they aren't screen protectors. These sides here, if we take a look at that, you can see that they definitely look very, very reflective. Um, more so than last year's, let's see, I don't know. Mm, yeah, I think they are more reflective than last year's because you can kind of see right there. I think in person, it still doesn't look as great as I would want it to. I definitely wouldn't want it to be that reflective, but it does look really, really cool. And I kind of do wish I would have just straight up gone for this color and not doubted myself. But you can see the difference there between the midnight green and the Pacific blue, both really stunning colors. And let's see now that it's on, you can see how the screens look. You now do get a slightly larger display on this. You have a 6.1 inch display, which is what we had on the iPhone XR and the iPhone 11, which is really great because it's almost the exact same size here as the 11 Pro, but just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit bigger, which is gonna give you a little bit more screen real estate and just give you a little bit more space to work with. And that's great, especially since if you do want a smaller phone, I think you can just go down to the 12 mini. And now as a quick little segment here, I'm gonna show you how it looks while you're texting there in that angle there and here. And then if you're on the phone, how the phone's gonna look if you don't have a case on it, I guess. And uh, then maybe like an angle right here under different lighting. So you can see the way that it reflects there and uh, that Pacific blue color, which does look really, really nice. Let me know if you're gonna be getting this color because I think this one's really gonna be more popular than the midnight green. I really like the midnight green, but I do think this looks much nicer. Now, of course, one of the other interesting things here is the fact that you only get your USB type C to lightning and then nothing else. That is it. Just one cable in the box, little thing here, a SIM eject tool and one Apple sticker right there. Definitely a simplified box and uh, not much in there. Kind of sucks though, because last year with the 12 Pro, or I mean the 11 Pro, we did get this fast charger, which I feel like at this point we should have been including the fast chargers because I don't feel like anybody really has these right here. So you will have to buy a fast charger separately if you want a fast charge. All right, so now let's move on to a little segment. I guess you could click away now, but I did want to show you guys how it looks with some cases so you can get an idea of how the color looks. This is a Pitaka case. This is like an aramid fiber. So it's almost like a carbon fiber case. That's very, very thin and light. It has a really nice feel to it. You can see here all the accents that would show. You've got the uh, button right there, speakers and everything showing there. You can kind of see how reflective that is. It's kind of crazy. Volume button, ringer switch. Overall, looks pretty good. Let's see here, uh, maybe a super minimal case and then a very thick case. Let's see here. If you're wondering what the size difference here, here we have three cases showing the mini this one that we have right here, and then the Max that's coming out as well. So what we have here is this clear one. I think this clear one really only works with the white iPhone, but let's see. And these here are from the folks over at Totally. And yeah, I mean, it washes out the color too much for my taste, so I definitely wouldn't put something like this on. Definitely would put a black one on though, but that's not gonna fit, so. Let's see here if it was that one, if it was something like that, you can kind of see it would work really well with a black case. 
I think one of the things that you're committing to with a color like this is that you won't be able to put, you know, like a red case, or I guess you could, but it's just not gonna match as well. Let's go ahead here and see what a blue case would look like. This is a leather case and uh, from the folks over at Mujo, M-U-J-J-O. They sent this over, kind of cool. It's like a full grain leather case. And you can see the difference in blues there. The Pacific blue is not really like blue blue like the iPhone 12 is. It's definitely more of like a water aqua, um, kind of heading into like a forest color of like, you know, reflecting the uh, the trees onto the ocean, that kind of color. So Pacific blue is definitely not like a blue, blue, blue. And I don't think that goes well with uh, blue on blue that like that. I think you might be better off with something like this. And this is what I'm talking about. I think that almost like I'm giving you the vibe a little bit of the green, but not quite actually. Hmm. But yeah, you can kind of just see that there covers the buttons has like a wallet in the back again, seeing the bottom. And just kind of showing you how the different things will look. Of course, we'll have a separate video on just the cases from Apple with the MagSafe and everything, but this is just to give y'all an idea of how things look. Last but not least, this is probably gonna be my case on my phone, and that's this one right here, mainly because it just has a really nice matted out back. I don't think, again, it works that great with the blue. As far as cases, I would definitely use this without a case and maybe just a protector on the back or just buy Apple Care for it because uh, it kind of takes away from the color that you ended up getting. But of course, if you don't mind, then that doesn't really matter. So um, yeah, that is the Pacific blue color of the iPhone 12 Pro. That is how it looks. Oh, and let's, I guess, let's just show a clear, full on clear soft case. Mm, yeah, it kind of washes out the color again, not that great. It definitely works, it's just not awesome. So I guess we'll see Apple's case, see how they work with this later. And uh, make sure to check out the other unboxings, but uh, yeah. This is the iPhone 12 Pro and the Pacific Blue retails for about $1,000. Um, of course, you can get it in other ways, but that's what Apple's selling this for. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.